Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. Yesterday we were talking about having a sober mind. And a sober mind doesn't mean you're somber and sad. It means you're alert, you're aware, you're focused. And when God says a sober mind, I mean, yes, there's a physical part of it. The scripture says, do not be drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Spirit. So there's physical sobriety. That's a requirement for a sober mind. But there's also spiritual sobriety, where you're not intoxicated with the lusts and desires of this world. Of course, they're going to pick at you. They're going to tempt you, but they're not controlling your mind. Instead, the thoughts of God are controlling your mind. Uh, Peter, who wrote our verse yesterday, 1 Peter 5, he uses the same phrase here at the beginning of his letter in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13, here's what he says. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace that is to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. Now there's a lot in here and I would encourage you in your life application study Bible to read 1 Peter chapter 1. It's a rich chapter. I can't unpack all of it. But here's part of what it's saying today. If you have an alert and sober mind, and that's something that we're commanded to strive for, then one attribute of your life will be that you're looking forward to Christ's return. Now, this doesn't mean that every single moment of every day you're just sitting around. We're to be active, living out an obedient life, telling others about Jesus. But it's a theme in our lives that we're eager for Christ to return. So could we pray together for that today? I'd just love it if we spent today saying, God, may we be people who are setting our hope on your return. Let's pray that today. Father, you've given us these minds that are capable of thought. Right now we're connecting our thoughts to each other through this devotional and we're connecting our thoughts to you through prayer. You've told us in your word here to be sober-minded and alert. And we don't fully understand all that that means, but we just come to you as your children today saying we want to be fully sober in our thinking and to be alert spiritually. And Lord, you say that we are to set our hope on the grace that will be given to us when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. Jesus, when you return as King of kings and Lord of lords, the judge of the universe who will judge the living and the dead. And we look forward because we're in right relationship with you through our faith in your work on the cross. We've received you as our Savior, our Lord, our God, our Father, our friend. We look forward to your return. And Lord, may our minds, may it be a theme of our life, that our minds are set on the hope that you will return and make everything right. Make this true of us today, we pray in Jesus' name, amen.